End of another week. It's episode 21. Hey, oh. Welcome in. Uh, the Markets Podcast. What a week it was. A uh, lot to get to. We're going to touch on Apple. We're going to touch on Tesla. We're going to touch on NFP that was just mind bogglingly high. Oh, no. Um, the market falls off a cliff on Thursday. Does not, Sean, follow through then on yeah. Friday? Yeah, I'm trying to find out. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find out here if it was it red on the week. Must have been, yeah, we started up here, okay, so it looks like we're going to be, yeah, we're going to finish red on the week, so here's a huge chart, I mean, finally, Brendan, it looks like we may have another red week uh, on top of this, so there it is right there, nice nice highs, we're, yeah. we're not too far away, a couple percentage points away from that high, again, 1% actually away from that, what a, what a battle back today, though, yeah. I mean, we saw that non-farm payrolls number come out much hotter than expected, and then, of course, leading us to believe that maybe there is going to be no more rate cuts, market to the downside, and then two or three minutes later, we bump rate back up when they revised yeah. prior uh, and it wasn't even that big of a revision that's what kind of confused me when is, it happened isn't it just jobs i mean that's we keep saying that i mean you had frank on what was frank what was your big takeaway from frank did he he was talking a little bit about the dollar there i think, I think for the most part everyone not not necessarily frank but everyone has just gotten to a point where it's just it doesn't matter anymore. And I even said that to Adara, right. you know, off camera when we were sitting here this morning on the live show. Make sure you join us every day. Uh, the market is open. We're live on YouTube, guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe below as well. Um, I said to her that the market has gotten to a point where these rate cuts are coming. Does it even matter if it's Q3, Q4, or right. Q3 next year? We had Cash Car yesterday say no rate cuts, market absolutely tanked like crazy. Yeah. And all of a sudden, some feds come out today and say, oh, no, I think we're going to do two or three. Yeah. Market retraces all the way back up. So to your point, I don't think it really, as long as we get some cuts, yeah. I'm not sure it matters. It's 93% chance no cut coming in May. And then we go up to June right here, Brendan. And then this is where it gets interesting. We're That's finally where that changed, to, like today and yesterday. Right. We're finally at 50-50, yeah. right? Um, wow, 3% chance of two. Uh, well, a double rate cut, 50 basis points. Yeah. What do you think about that? It's not happening. No, I don't think it's that's happening happen. at all either. Like, I, why, why do they even have to at this point? Well, they had that dot plot. Are they not going to stick to that? No. Well, okay. <laughs> so, there you go. Here's the, uh, if anyone missed it, here's the headline from Friday morning. 303,000 jobs versus 200,000 expected. Like, not, e not even in the neighborhood of what everyone was expecting, but as Sean was mentioning, then they go and revise downward the prior month, as they do basically every single month. So get ready, because next month they're going to revise that 303 probably back. I mean, this month it was, it was only 16,000 I read. So it's not, it wasn't a huge revision from last month. Yeah. Side, so. I thought Neil said it was, oh, was that what it was? Because he was like, oh man, they revised. The private so side was bigger. Oh, okay, the private. The, the yeah, public yeah, side was only 16,000. So. I actually had a question. Do you think that's a lot of it? Like, will some of these numbers become less and less important as, and again, we've always been talking about AI for a minute, but as AI and artificial intelligence start to take over some of the menial jobs, in our life. Does yeah. that, all of a sudden, these payroll numbers become less and less important because, quite frankly, we are going to start replacing people with robots. Yep. We had that story with Apple earlier on uh, this week, and we had iRobot going up and down. I don't know if Apple is developing a robot, per se, for vacuuming, <laughs> but that brings me to another question. If there was one, let's just say Apple came up with a robot could do one function for your family. What do you think would be the, the one that you'd like to man. pass off? I spend maybe for you or for her. This is going to sound dishes. I just heard. Yeah, over there. I mean that's a good one. This this is going to sound very, um, I don't know, petty almost. But I spend like an hour and a half every Getting Sunday. No, every yeah. Sunday ironing shirts. Oh, do you? It's so annoying to me. I have a hack for that. Send them away. Honestly, these guys press it's my shirts. Man. No, it's not, dude. It's three. It's three to five bucks a shirt. Oh, you got to give me your guy. No, it's no, it's it's a cleaning. It's a real cleaning company. It's not even a guy. Really? This is not even like an Italian thing. <laughs> it's not an underground. This is like a. Um, what, I don't know a name of a dry cleaner. If my <laughs> if my wife was here, but no, it's, but it's it's, it's a no, wash and dryer or like need, a yes. Yeah. No. Press. Or wash and fold or whatever. They the hell it's steam called. it. It's pressed. Yeah. It's um. What do you call that? Uh, you spray it on the yeah. shirts to make them starch. But it's not a dry cleaner. It is a dry. Oh, cleaner. it is a dry cleaner. 
But anyways, I, I'll get the information for you. But please. honestly, you get a big blue bag. Yeah. I throw all my shirts in there. The dude comes to our house, Brendan, for free. I'm telling you. I'm glad we talked about this. I found my they one. Come, I found my one good thing. <laughs> they come in. I'm gonna. If my wife's around, I'm gonna find it out. Yeah, please. They 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 come in. They take the clo They take the shirts. They they do whatever they do. Yeah. They drop it back off. Yeah. And that's that man, a little bill. So. Three to five dollars a shirt. I'm I, telling you the truth. I have an issue. Rest. I'm gonna find out. My wife issue. is gonna be on chat here. I'm, I'm, I have a dry cleaner that's a block, not even a block away from me. Propose. The last time I went to said dry cleaner. Yep. I'm gonna ask right now. I took four shirts and one pair of dress pants. Would you like to uh, take a, a, a wager at how much the bill was? Uh, two pairs of pants. Four, no, four shirts, four dress shirts. Yeah. Two. And one pair of dress dress pants. The pants are a weird one because um, I'm not sure about those prices. I would say they probably should be seven a shirt, four shirts at 28, pants, tight, 50, yeah. 45. It was $76. Yeah, that's, that's too much. <laughs> the, the, it, it's outright. I think it's like a Gibson's Cleaners or something. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I asked my wife right now, name of dry cleaner Please. and price. It's done. Because I could be way off, dude. Sold. I was telling this to Ramin, I'm trying to do some taxes. I have like 30,000 transactions that I'm trying to figure out. One of them is probably this laundry yeah. thing. So that, so I'm gonna, she's, that she's hour and a right. half is saving me $76 a week. It's called Gibbons, G-I-B-B-O-N-S. He's typing. My bad, Gibson. Gibson. <laughs> Typo <laughs> happening. What is going on? All right, um, so about the market. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so robot would be dry, would, would basically be Hell yeah. laundry slash. I would be first in line at the Apple store. When yeah. they come out with Apple robots, are they going to sell them in the Apple store? Yeah, they're going to sell them online too. I mean, the thing is, is that Apple right down here, they, they had some up and down movements here. I like Apple right here, Brendan. I think that buying, you know, inventing the new wheel potentially with a robot that we can all trust at some point. Yeah. Um, I, I like that idea. Yeah, I, I think same. It's been good. same. I told her. Yeah, there she goes. She said it's around five bucks a shirt. So I'm, 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 I'm yeah, digging could, down, baby. I'll drive to the And the, the thing is, because they do care. such a good job, it's not like you're ironing them. Like yeah. it has that stiff. Right. And they come to you, baby. How far Am though? Like that's crazy. Thing? Oh, it's in my neighborhood. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I said. I'll drive to the junction. Yeah. I don't care. Okay, yeah. chart of the week. New new segment. Chart oh, of, I like it. Let's chart do it. I love chart of the week. Segment. Look at that. Oh, I have a new segment for you. Or maybe I'll make it. Well, you have a new we'll segment. We'll just end this and, and talk about that. No, but it is about this, but it's in okay. addition to this. Okay. Guess the stock. Yeah. But is that what you're going to ask mean, me? I, th I think it's been done one or, one or two times. Yeah, but it'd be fun. You yeah. put the stock up. and you, you No, know, I, I mean, I think, you know, it's, it's a weekly time frame. It's GE. We were talking about it today. Wow. It's wow. absolutely absolute insane. Monster? This is a weekly chart, Sean. Where was that? I know. Like, there's, there's 15 weeks in a row this thing has been green. And nobody seems to be even talking about it. I mean, we, we had that uh, breakup of their business, essentially, going back, what was that, two weeks ago? I'm trying to I show. I want to say. Yeah, we, I had, um, there's this image that I wanted to show. Oh, um, the, yeah, GEV. So that, that's the new They spun stock. off the aerospace, and they spun off. Yeah, Vernova. A, a few different uh, no, that anyway. was, so this is a daily chart. No, it was just here. So, uh, February 24th? What is this, a weekly chart? Yeah, so it's like two weeks ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're, you're dead on right yeah. there. So this, this is actually a daily I, chart. I mean, I'm this sure thing's been running days. into that inevitable um, half. I mean, as industrials continue to go to the high side, it just continues to be more and more of the same. I actually have a chart here, um, and that is just to show the market breadth and, and some of the things that we've been doing. I actually want to open this up. We had this on the main show as I thought I had it opened up, and now I'm going to have it open up right now for you. Where did it go? It was just right here a second ago. Oh, man. Um, it was the fact that NVIDIA and GE, GE on the year is up 41 or 42%. Insane. And just continues to go higher. Matching names like Meta, Brendan. Meta up 43% this year. DoorDash up 40%. Unfortunately, I can't get this uh, to open. Let me see if I... There it is. Okay, it's right here right now. All right, that worked out pretty good. Here's the chart I'm trying to show. And basically, SMCR, these are the best performing stocks in the S&P 500. So you got NVIDIA and SMCI sort of leading the way. But look look at the, the sort look of the GE. breadth here. Valero's right here at 38, but there's GE. You know, they, they spun off healthcare percent. unit. Right, now energy. There it is, 43%. So I have a question for you. You have Micron here. If you could invest in any of these for the year right now, just this next Next 12 months, starting right now here mm. today. You can choose anything here. NVIDIA, anything. 
What is that third one? I can't see. This one? Yeah. CEG. We talked about this before um, on the main show. Um, I called it cell gene, but it's constellation. So again, an energy name. Mm. So I, I'm more Love comfortable that. with Valero on there, but energy with a big, huge bump up uh, right there on um, Constellation. MRO there's was a deal. on there too? Yeah, there's Marathon is on there. MPC, sorry, yeah, yeah Marathon's on there, Micron. I, my answer to this question, as you'll debate yours, is just gonna be NVIDIA, honestly. I, I was gonna say Meta. Okay, we're meta. both in the tech spot. Are we sleeping on energy then? You I know? feel like yeah. I know you. I, I always th thought of energy as like a great area to grab some yield, dividends, yeah. things like that. Yeah. But the way this this world's moving right now, gold breaking out, Bitcoin still hovering around the highs, energy starting to go to commodity world. We had Raheem yeah. talking copper, yeah. silver. Brendan, have you seen silver? It's crazy. I mean, some of these things, uh, cocoa. We talk about that twenty five hundred <laughs> up to ten thousand dollars, and it just goes to trend trading. You have a don't, chocolate don't fix you think? that you go to. Um, so we were at the grocery store the other day. Very good question. Thank you, Brendan, for that question. We were at the grocery store the other day, and all these chocolate bars were a dollar, and I was with my son, <laughs> and I asked him, which one do you want? So he chose caramel. Okay. And I was like, I, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like a caramel. Yeah. But the problem is, unless you've got a little bottle of water or something there, it gets a little it's gooey sweet. in there. It's, it's a little really, sweet. Yeah, it's a little much. It's really sweet. But we split Agreed. that up, and... Uh, yeah, so we, we, we shared sure. that. It was, yeah, it was only a buck. Should oh, have taken, you should have taken a picture of that because it's not really Okay, around. next yeah. time, Brenda, we'll do that. $10,000 uh, a ton. I know. How do we invest in that? <laughs> I, I, have you ever traded anything like that? Like you trade, like or commodity or, Yeah, no, commodities. No. Yeah, no, neither have I. I remember, um, this is going back, God, it's got to be 10 years. There was a big run um, in orange juice. Futures, yeah. Or orange futures because yeah. of Hurricanes. a really bad hurricane yeah. season. Yeah. I remember that. It, hurricane it, Fabian, I think it was called. It was crazy. But there was two or three in a row. It just kept coming. It wasn't Hurricane Fabian. I can't remember. Hurricane Fabian's to our, over our right. But look at this trend. Why Snapping picks right now. Look at XLE. Why would you get out of this? I know. I mean, you're talking about this is daily chart. You have one, two, three red days, basically, Brendan, um, since... This is March, mid-March, basically 14 or 15 V3. Yeah. Uh, yeah, six month highs. Yeah, I think you can even go back a lot Maybe further even more than now, that. Yeah. Here's the weekly chart. You are at, Brandon, you are at um, five, six, eight, ten. You keep going. Yeah, All-time highs, XLE. New year highs, as I, I was saying, for um, energy. Um, on the other side of the spectrum, there was um, a lot to talk about in uh, EV land this week. It started, we'll touch on this Reuters mess uh, because it's becoming more and more, I, I want to get your opinion on this actually. You know what, whatever, let's just talk about it right now. Well, that now. Tesla was a kind of a disaster. It was, I it was a nightmare that today. Trade today. I didn't, I'm not even logged so in. So Elon today. deletes this tweet. Oh, did he? Someone mentioned that, Obi mentioned that. I was like, what? But didn't I, he, didn't he rechange the wording of it? No, he retweeted somebody else that said um, Reuters is dying or, or something, wasn't no, it? No, Reuters is dying. Oh, Ro Reuters, sorry, not Tesla. Uh, I'm going to try and find I took a, a screen cap of it. Okay. I believe I, I lost it. I have the tweet. Anyway, um, yeah, what? if you missed it on Friday, Reuters came out and said that Tesla was going to discontinue work entirely, research, development, work entirely on this cheap model that has been said to be in the works for, I don't know, God, what's it been? A couple of years that they've been talking about this potential model too. It was not even 15 minutes later, no. Elon jumped on Twitter and, or X and, and tweeted that all he said was Reuters is lying. I was trying to And find then deleted that tweet. The thing so it, so yeah. did they cancel this? Reuters is lying. Thing is, see, so I just feel like Elon has to be very, very careful because we saw that when he said to set the Saudis for a yeah. secure deal, all that kind of stuff. He got a little bit of a slap on the wrist. But now that he's on his own network, I guess, with Twitter, he can sort of delete and post whatever he wants and, and change things. I was actually trying to find the story, but you're right. It's a couple minutes later. Here's the move down in Tesla. Now, should you be allowed? The question oh, yeah. is this. No, that's not. Shouldn't Reuters be firing back? Like... 
this, this is a huge move down of a major, major market cap. Like, if I was a hedge fund or a trader or something like that, that maybe potentially lost a bunch of money, and again, it's buyer beware in this market. But that direct drop down, yeah, maybe Brendan has the tweet in a second, but this direct drop down there for Tesla is pretty dramatic, man. From 170 all the way down to 160, the bottom was at 1130, the news started at 1104, 1105. Brendan, that's a major drop. If you got liquidated on a major position, I just wonder where you say, what is the validity, what is the responsibility of a major publication that was not hacked? Yeah. It's one thing, remember, I think it was a little while ago, um, somebody hacked into the, it wasn't the SEC, but remember it was Bitcoin ETF yeah. approved yeah, or whatever yeah. it was. Maybe it was the SEC. I think it was. And then they're well, like, they no, no, we got hacked in my bad, although I probably don't think they got hacked. No. But either way, Reuters, I haven't heard anything from them, but you have the tweet. Yeah, here it is. Um, and you will not find this on, on Twitter anymore. Thanks, TweetDeck, for uh, not getting rid of deleted tweets. So 11.35, you can go and look at the chart. It was 11.35. Right. Yep, that's exactly where it is. We have it. Exactly right? when he uh, tweeted this and then deleted it sometime later and then retweeted this other tweet that said Reuters is dying and then there was some usage numbers of year over year and month over month usage for Reuters and they were, they were both negative. So I don't know, does that mean they did actually scrap the model too? You think they should? No, of course not. The mm. problem is they can't make this car at a cost that, that would... they can make money off of it, clearly. Wasn't the main worry of that tweet was China, right? Yeah, Remember and it, it was no, like, no, the, don't, the, the, Reuters the Reuters story, story was they're said they cited Chinese competition. Yeah, it was a worry for that. I kind of look at this as, and you and I talked about this earlier this week, about even about Trader TV Live, and that is, is that should we be doing something that everybody else is doing or try to create our own little thing there? So for me, I'm fine if they want to cancel it, honestly. If they feel like it's a losing opportunity, it's not something that they're interested in, in pursuing, then I'm okay with them scrapping it if they feel that there is more competition out there. But I don't think Elon is the kind of guy to be like, oh yeah, we're worried about something. You know what I mean? He wanted Twitter, he paid a crazy price <laughs> despite what everybody was telling him. Yeah. You know, way too much, he tried to get it canceled in court, so on and so forth, but he stuck to that. So I really feel like this is gonna be something that he probably, I mean, the dude went on Saturday Night Live and was pumping up Dogecoin and all that kind of stuff. When Dogecoin was 50 something cents at that point, almost at its highs. So I just feel like he will sit there and tell us what he's going to do. And let's just wait for a better response. I, there hasn't really been anything. I'm just looking here at Benzinga and I'm just gonna show this to you. We use a Benzinga platform. This is exactly what you're talking about. There it is, 1109, and it was actually earlier than that. 1106, Tesla scraps low car plans amid yeah. fierce Chinese competition. That's from Reuters. And then there it is right there. They have it at 1137, but as you said, it was 1135. So shout out to Benzinga, having just a couple minutes later, uh, right there that we are scrapping this um, response. Reuters is again lying. So. It hits all the major news wires and puts traders like us sort of in flux about what to do. Yeah. Thankfully, I had a stop order. We actually captured the profit to the downside, was able to make money on Tesla. But that's the danger of not trading with stop orders in this kind of a market. You have no idea what's about yeah. to hit. Yeah, and, and for anyone who's maybe confused by that, it's, it's the simple fact that there's so many algos out there that just screen for certain words. And as soon as they see those certain words come up, right. they sell first, ask questions later. And that's why you get those huge... Maybe that's you know, where AI is issues. gonna replace what we're doing. Just being so quick yeah. to the story and so quick to like key levels that by the time Nvidia finally breaks $1,000, the machines have already hit it. Right. And me and you are punching like $1,005, something like that. But that's, yeah, that's pretty scary. I have a good friend who refers to that as using our meat sticks. HFT, yeah. To uh, that's right. combat. That's right. Computers. We talk about just like, meh, meh, like we kind of used to call it like monkey train, just like buy sell, buy sell. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, what am I even doing? Speaking of China, uh, here's BYD. Uh, going back to some delivery data, we got delivery data from Tesla as well, way back at the beginning of the week. That was uh, pretty bad. Yeah. Um, but this just highlighting the simple fact that BYD, which is their main competition over in China, also, Sean, with a huge downtick in delivery. So it wasn't. Tesla specific, it was more market related um, and demand related, but still 387,000 in the quarter 
for Tesla versus 300,000 for BYD. But if you recall, recall, and going back to what you were saying in regards to competition, mm. Elon even said, if there isn't some sort of restrictions put in place preventing these Chinese companies coming to North America, coming to the US market specifically, they're all done. Because these companies in China can make these cars so cheaply yeah. and so efficiently that they just can't compete. These, the Teslas and the, the Fords of the world. How much, money, uh, how much money, how much faith do we have in the governments doing the right thing potentially and blocking that? Because if you all of a sudden are gonna allow these Chinese names to come in and literally undercut, take American and Canadian jobs yeah. because Ford's gonna close that. Yeah. Forget about, Tesla's the only one operating at a profit exactly. for these EV names. Exactly. So if all of a sudden China can say, we could do it cheaper because we have a completely different labor environment, a completely different cost environment, that's quite frankly not fair. I've already spoken about what I feel that they can over there in China ban YouTube from us or from their people, ban Facebook, ban Meta, all that stuff. But over here, we're like, no, no, free market. Let's let TikTok. So I hope that they do the same thing. They tried it with the chips, right? Um, no, NVIDIA, you cannot yeah. send over um, Blackwell chips yeah. or you can't send over these G100s. They're trying to get around that. But look at this. stuff. I don't know if you're going to call this up and maybe, no, no, maybe you are. But global EV sales right here, Brendan. Yeah. Over half of the world's electric cars right now are in China. Yeah. So, uh, and we, accelerating, like, too. Yeah, and accelerating. And then this, too, almost one in five new cars sold in 2023 is electric. But this has been such a ramp up. We go from 2010 all the way to where we are now, 14 million vehicles. It's, it's such a ramp up. I wonder if we're getting to a point now where, look, people are buying cars all the time. But if you talk to some of the youth right now, they're not as excited to own their first car as I feel like our generation potentially was. Right. It was a big thing um, to say, okay, you know what? Because we didn't have Uber. You don't we, remember those days? Man, um, we man, didn't have a cell phone, days. Brendan. The internet was barely <laughs> created. Unfortunately, if you I wanted to talk to somebody, I, you had to get in the car, drive right. to them, right. and actually And you had to wait. Like, you're at a party, you'd have to wait for a cab. Okay, Ramin. <laughs> I see that. We've already talked about this. We're, we're not We're boomers. definitely not boomers. But I remember you had to go to a party. You'd wait hours for a cab if you're lucky to get one. Yeah. You're walking home. Yeah. Now you kind of just like you're looking, waiting for your Ubers. Technology is changing things. And just on that same thing, I like Tesla because I think that there's going to be an opportunity for companies like Hertz. I know they've canceled. But that thought. Sure that they'll, they'll be the ones buying some of these used Teslas, putting them into their, or new ones, putting them into their fleet and creating something with full self-drive. And I actually really do like, Brennan, that talk about the subscription model yeah. for full self-drive. I think that's huge because I might not have enough money now to afford 16, 20,000 on top of the car price, for a Model 3 or to add it to any Tesla. Yeah. But you know what? As times get better, potentially, in the Katina household or anybody's, then what happens is you find that money. Yeah. And maybe you buy that for a subscription. Would it, would it be, like, what's that number going to be, though? If it's, I think there was 195 I, I saw in that. the U.S. or something like that. But that's U.S. So here it's going to be at six, yeah, 299 or, or something in that yeah, uh, neighborhood. I was talking to someone. was out, Elon? <laughs> I was talking to someone here today who has a 2022 mm -hmm. Model Y. And he actually said that he used full self-driving to come to the office for the first time the other day. Yeah. And he said he was blown away. Yeah. Like absolutely blown away yeah. on how specific it was, how accurate it was. He said it didn't make a mistake until he was right outside here. It didn't know which. Where the bike lanes were. And it actually wanted to go into the bike lane on our street instead of staying in the actual through lane of traffic going through the intersection. So he said outside of that, it was amazing. It was amazing. And that's because it's now on that free trial yeah. or whatever. So yeah. see, there you go. So even somebody that maybe, I don't know if they can afford it or not, but that's a tool that's impressed them. Yeah. So we all, I mean, I, we always Coming. find money, man, to spend Coming. on ridiculous things in, in North America. Just to visualize, here is uh, the quarter deliveries for Tesla. First time in, uh, I think it was four years. Something like that, that they uh, miss on this number. But that's a pretty big downtick. But that's for China, though. Isn't it? No, no, it's quarterly deliveries. Q1 deliveries. Oh, all added up. Right, right, yeah. right. They were expecting a lot lower. Yeah, no, it's sad. We talk, I mean, there's a reason why Tesla is right now at the same level as it's been at 
for basically three, four years back, yeah. back to those lows. So that's why I think that you made a good point about if they do cancel the Model 2 or whatever that lesser, it is a little bit of a serious thing because it's what investors, what's the catalyst? You know, we're losing deliveries. There's competition getting higher. It's becoming more expensive as commodities. We just talked about that. Silver getting higher, gold getting higher, copper, uh, lithium, everything getting more and more expensive to get these products out of the ground. Labor's getting more expensive. Yep. Can Tesla's margins still justify where they are right now? I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, gone, it's gotten hit, man. It's only, it sounds silly, man. It's only a $525 billion market cap. Yeah. We were pushing trillions, you know? Down 35% this year. It's pretty nasty Tesla's right is one of the pretty worst nasty. stocks in the S&P 500 this year. It is the worst, I believe. It's, it's, yeah, it's crazy. But as we said, there's the Kathy Wood argument here on once they figure out I know. Auto uh, autonomous driving, they're going to roll out a fleet of millions and millions of Model 3s just cruising around everywhere. And that's the business model it, it's the robots, it's the autonomous driving that's what really that going to one day when you get the F it tweet from Elon Musk and it goes, I'm out. I'm logging in. Uh, and I, that's, <laughs> there is not another name, you know, I mean, whether or not this is a hot take or not, I mean, I think everybody understands that. You hear that? What? The man eating say rice that. over there? What, what did he say? Oh, he's, he, he's got food in it. Yeah, he'll die with, oh, he's Elon will die with that company. company. Yeah, 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 I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen. I haven't yeah. heard anything like that. Obviously, this is his baby, I would think. They'll but it's just, what other company has, has single name risk to an owner? I mean, maybe um, Jamie Meta? Dimon? Zuckerberg, really? I, potentially. Remember when Zuckerberg lost, oh, Carol, no. Uh, oh, shoot. And this is what happens when we do this on a Friday. Uh, Sandberg. Oh, Cheryl. Cheryl, Sandberg. yeah, yeah, Cheryl. Yeah. Cheryl. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, stock went down temporarily there. Battle back, obviously, at all-time highs. Zuckerberg's another one. Yeah. I think any visionary in some of these big names. He also has controlling. Satya Nadella's shares. done wonders there for Microsoft. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about that on episodes in the past. Go back and watch. Episodes. Yeah, go back and watch. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Let's get this going. I mean, we're, we're here every single Friday, soon to be maybe a little bit different as we work on a very interesting podcast room. New things We've got come. lots of questions that people keep putting uh, at the bottom of this. Throw down I stuff. have Let's one go. for you. Yeah, no, this is not even one that's too unique, but we have, well, it's very unique to our situation, Eclipse. Are you excited for that? Not at all. You? Cool. Next question. Um, <laughs> all right, so. I don't, are you? I, yeah. I'm, really? What do you mean? I'm jacked up about this. Really? You know, our lawyer is gone now for... He's gone to Lake Erie to get a better view. I know multiple people that are heading down. Niagara has state declared of a state of emergency. Thanks, National Geographic. They've labeled that as the best place in the world yeah. to watch the eclipse. So I have friends that I think, like you, are a little bit nuts to think about how important this is, yeah. but they're taking time off to go to that. Um, and it's supposed to be between, so Brendan, on Monday, yeah. I may or may not. <laughs> I'll be here doing the afternoon show, but I have the watch. The watch out is happening. My wife's going to tell me I'm bringing in glasses for everybody. I'm bringing in one pair of glasses that I'll share with everybody. I don't. I mean, how many pairs am I supposed to have? I'll look at all the pictures on Twitter. Yeah, so like I'm going to. No, no, no. But isn't that, how freaky is that going to be to go outside pitch black? It'll be dark in the yeah. middle. And the the cool thing about this is, is the city's uncertain of the lighting situation because some of the lights are on timers. So when the whole city goes pitch black at two in the afternoon, seriously, Brendan, this could be wild. The other thing that people are worried about, <laughs> Why? do I have to carry this now? Because Brendan's just no, like, no, no, I don't give no, a here's, shit about it. Here's, here's what but I'm actually Animals. About. What about animals? Who cares? See, this is the thing you don't understand. Brendan doesn't. Animals are inside. Are they? Mine are. All in? Yeah, yeah, I'm not talking about pets. Okay. What, there birds? Are, yes, <laughs> birds, wolves, coyotes, all this kind of stuff, dude. What, they're just going to sit down Yes, and because wait? All the, it's not supposed to be dark at that time. They're thinking mad birds are going to be flying into, um, like, like condos, <laughs> office buildings. Brendan, honestly, okay, just, I'm a little Ramin bit surprised just said about this. It's called the path of totality. Okay, so that sounds a little more dramatic than this, but... The kids also got, you don't know this, of course, because I do not have kids. any. It's like OB's Yay Sports, you're Yay Kids. Yep. It's such an important thing. Listen to this, Brendan, and I know you come from teachers. They changed the PA day. 
The PA deal I, was I did read that. supposed it's, to be April it's so 20th ridiculous. or something. They made it April 8th because they don't want to be responsible. When was the last one? I was going to check Or a that. bunch of kids, like, looking up at the sky when? there. It was in 17. I remember being in school and, like, no one died. <laughs> we, had a, we had an eclipse. When was it? I, I mean, there, he was saying 2017, but I remember when but we the were... next one's not supposed to be 2091. 2017, no. No. Not this one. Not like this. This is a major... There's this... I, I, I yeah, very we're almost much remember, in the path of totality. I very much remember being in school when there was a solar eclipse and no one died. This is like a... So what is with the hysteria, Sean? Because I'm telling you, this is very rare. The next no, time... It's, just, no, it's it, not it, that okay. rare. It, okay, I get it. It's rare, about. but... It's happened before. Nothing's happened. Everyone's been fine. It has not happened before to this extent with this current technology. I'm asking. Well, I'm asking. Because I'm, what happens if the internet goes down? I'm just telling you. Solar? It'll be the it'll be the most quiet, yeah, and no, I don't peaceful think I'm ten minutes of everyone's day. Um, are you an apple pie McFlurry guy? I know you don't really like pass. berry, but pass. Okay, but you're R an apple Ramin pie. likes to eat them with apple pies. Yes. How good a value was that at McDonald's, by the way? Are they still doing that? They used to have those apple pies. I think they still do. They used to be like two for a dollar or something. Two for 175 for two. That seems very reasonable. Those are good, aren't they? I'm Fabian, finding what this are you out. eating over there, Fabian, anyways? The oh, the pasta. I'm yeah, finding this out. Yeah, August 21st, 2017. Was? A solar eclipse. Okay, but it's different than this one, though. Yeah, we have to... We're going to find this out. Uh, I'm asking, I'm asking for one before that? We do have a the podcast. One, the one before that was 20... Oh, no, sorry. 1979. Yeah, that's the one, I think. 1979, yeah. Anyway, who cares? Um, I am more excited about seeing how Niagara Falls is going to handle more than a million people showing up at their doorstep on, uh, when is it, Monday? Monday. Was what? Thanks for listening. I missed, I was not hear what you were saying because I was in the path of totality here. Take two. I am more excited about seeing how Niagara Falls is going to handle a million oh, people that, yeah. showing up on their doorstep on Monday. I mean, yay for the casinos. People are casinos I thought people there. are going to be looking up at the sky. Yeah, but it's only three Morning. hours. It's two, it, no, it's two to five. They, they think the best time, well, it only, it's completely covered. So let me ask you a question. By the way, let me ask you a question. Letting you know something, there is a solar issue with this. What happens when uh, Monday rolls around and it's pouring rain outside? Yeah. I know, burn. <laughs> you know, it's like we're going to party like it's 1999. It was, it was mass hysteria and wah wah. That reminds me of like Super Bowl or something like that. I always feel that you get so worked up. Oh my God, it's a Super Bowl. It's here. It's finally here. What are we going to do for the Super Bowl? Then the Super Bowl is over. It's like, okay, that's it. Yeah, let's and go home. <laughs> like, all right, like now we have to wait like another eight months for more football or something like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, one yeah. more thing on Tesla here, that and then we'll. Uh, the, that was kind of fun about the eclipse. Yeah. Um, Three billion going into uh, India, speaking of. Ooh. Uh, for a manufacturing type of plant for uh, Tesla. There we go. This has been in the works, obviously. We talked about it on the show many, 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 many times going into. Uh, I think it was like the middle of last year when we first started to see these rumors flow through. Elon met with government officials over in India multiple times. There was sightings of Elon in India. And now we get the actual uh, headline that it's a couple billion at least. Sightings of Elon in India. There was. There was. I remember sitting here. There was one day where the headline was Elon spotted with so-and-so from India, whatever. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a giant. But anyway. Is How this, tall is Elon Musk? Where is Elon? How tall? I think he's pretty tall. Is he pretty tall? Remember there he's going to fight that Elon Musk there? He's or Elon Musk versus Zuck. Zuckerberg? Could you imagine if that happened in the um, Coliseum? Wow. That would be sick the if that Coliseum. ever happened over there. They were going to. They were the talking Coliseum at one reached point. reached out. 6'2". Yeah. He's not that six tall. Two. No. That's when I thought you said that how, how huge he was. I was like, I thought yeah. he was actually pretty tall as well. No, I mean, I think that's right. We talked about this last week with Apple, but just diversifying, yeah. getting away from China. And, and we had Raheem Alani on. Congratulations again to Raheem Alani. But um, being an ambassador there uh, with India in, in Canada, he talked about how the relations are very strong you know, economic ties and everything like that, both with Canada and the U.S. and India. So as long as that economy continues to grow, which it is, obviously, he talked about a huge middle class. I think that's great for employment such as this. You want educated yeah. um, workers looking to 
better you know, their current situation. And again, I've never stepped foot in India, but I would think a major plant like this, plus Apple, huge, plant, yeah. um, huge opportunity. I really like it. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a great move for Tesla. And again, if I was Kathy Wood, I'd be looking at that as well as a reason to buy Tesla. Helping margins, right? I think you can sure. create, hopefully manufacture a car cheaper in India than maybe you can in Austin. And, and I was just gonna go back to the Model 2 angle here. Shipping too, right? Yeah, but with this Model 2, you know, if they can't make it for a profit, maybe this is a solution. It's obviously not gonna be up and running for who knows, you know, a couple of years at least. It takes them to put that together, but. Uh, I mean, India's a perfect spot to, and that's what I was saying about shipping. If you can make a lower model there, why, why don't they make like a little, not a rickshaw, not a tuk-tuk or anything like that, like a, just a, like a scooter, like a Vespa. You know, something like that where people can just get around the city, like sell literally the millions of the, those. The cyber Vespa? Could you, not, could, you, could you sell them here? I mean, how many people are riding around in random? We had Fahad here, remember? He had one of those electric wide, bikes, yeah, yeah. those yeah. wide tires. I think Tesla could do that. Same charging station, yeah. running it around the streets of every major city, and it would really work in lesser developed countries where potentially you can't buy, even if a Model 2 is 20 grand, a little Vespa, a couple of thousand dollars, even maybe even less than that. I mean, I, he was saying the last time that, um, I keep forgetting what their stupid robot's called, Optimus. Optimus. It was gonna be around 10, 12 grand. So I think, I mean, that seems to be a lot to me, doesn't it? I don't know. See, these are the, these find, are the things, you gotta find the Ramin, utility. that you should just share with everyone. Yeah, well, and speaking to the damn mind. And not just keep them what to yourself. What is she saying now? She said, careful talking about Optimus, he's gonna come for you. Oh. Which right. is probably true. I stood beside one there in um, Sherway, but it was just a model, and that thing was monster. They're big, too. man. That was, I'm not. They're a little I, intimidating. If they're gonna make a robot, they better make one smaller than the average human, dude. Problems I'm are, telling you because like people are going to be like, man, this thing's scary. I, watch Apple, said, I Apple said they're going to make robots and watch iRobot again. iRobot. Anyway, let's talk Disney. Um, okay. Because I mean, it's it's kind of like a ho hum yeah. event. But um, if anyone missed it, Disney wins the proxy battle that's been going on for it seems like decades at this point. They've been talking about this uh, with uh, Nelson Peltz. They get the entire board gets reelected. Everyone shrugs their shoulders and goes back to their coffee that morning. Like this was such a nothing at the end of the day. The stock barely even moved. Thoughts, Mr. Katina? Uh, I was just looking at, we, we, we do have this stat right <laughs> What? Playing Keith with this guy. With me? <laughs> I was letting you finish and you asked I was me finished. That. Yeah, okay. And you said thoughts. Yeah, I'm looking at this number here. All right. I mean, I. <laughs> I mean, all day I'm sitting here trading all, <laughs> literally all day and like having to come up with something to say, look at these streaming numbers. They I look, mean, this is the look wrong pretty, way. They look pretty terrible. You know, the other way, Bob Iger has moved to hike prices, but you know, we're starting to get a little better. Maybe we can- So get... yay, it's almost profitable? Yeah. Okay. Did you know that I got a note from Disney? This is just reverse. Why is Ramin laughing at this chart? <laughs> this is just the other way around. We're trying, okay, you see there, look, I got this little thing. See, this is, oh, what the? It's negative. This that's, line that's here, why, guys. yeah, it's, this it's is bad. We want to have numbers over yeah. this way. It, the top of the chart is zero. Costs. Okay, so anyways, the idea is, is that Bob Iger's come out and said, Brendan, that they're going to hopefully get this sorted out by the end of the year, if they do, then I say yay to Nelson Peltz and all those guys coming in, getting more aggressive, trying to cut some of the costs and really focus but where they, they lost. No, I know, but I'm saying it got, it got the board the result thinking of, yeah, sure. about, yeah, right. yeah. and the Disney stock had a beautiful run up and Nelson Peltz said, thank you for the billion dollars yeah. because they were getting involved in buying down into here, into 80, $90. This is what you want. You want that kind of, Potential reform for the board, they didn't get it. So whether or not they're, I don't know, did we hear a report if they sold everything? I'm not sure, but I'm guessing getting some out of their position for sure. Um, and you know what, they still like the company. They discussed that. They just unfortunate that they weren't able to get a couple seats. Let's see what happens. Obviously, let it settle down. We had a dramatic move off of that. We were up at 124.50, which has been the 52 week high. We did come back in that day into 119. 
down about 2%. Yesterday, we had a pretty big fall. But then today, as the market goes back up, as does Walt Disney today, again, from 116, 117 up to 118 and change, a pretty good day for Disney today, uh, all else considered. Great looking chart. Um, let's talk Google. Uh, this headline comes out this week as well. They're considering charging for AI search. Mm -hmm. So that would be a complete abandonment of their current ad supported uh, search, which I read was like, I think it was 55% or something of their entire uh, revenue going back to last year. So that would be a huge change. This came out at four o'clock. I think it was, what day were we sitting here when that, was it Thursday? That's what I'm, I'm trying to find the chart. I feel like it was now. Thursday. It, well, it had to have been. Huge, yeah. huge rip up uh, after the close on Thursday. It gets faded immediately because yep. executives, quote unquote, executives come out and say, no decision on this has been made. No final decision on this has been made. But so many other companies, you and I were just sitting here before we came on to record this, talking about perplexity. So many other AI companies are going down that path. And now we're seeing Google, the biggest of the big, ahead of, Sean, and I want to talk about Apple here as well, ahead of Apple coming up in June to launch their AI, talking about charging for this this week. We all rewarded Microsoft because they were the first out of the gate. They had ChatGPT, they put it into Copilot, and we all sat here and said, oh my God, Microsoft's winning because they have a plan. They know what they're gonna do with it. They're gonna change Bing. They're gonna try yeah. to get people to search differently. And that worked. We, you and I talked about why go to anything, why even go to Google search anymore? Go to perplexity, go to, um, I mean, there's, there's so many different ones. Even their own Gemini product as well. Here's the release right there on Google. I just think that they came out with a plan. The market loved it early, and this was on the third. So back on Thursday, went up to 158, taking out highs, then comes all the way back in. Um, and now, basically, where we were without this announcement at all. I think if they follow the same path that Microsoft did, release it into the cloud, let people build into it, give us reasons to continue to use search, because if me and you are going to Perplexity, um, Anthropic, there's so many different things. Yep. I feel like there can be multiple winners, but when you wrap it all up into a little piece of computing power, well, that's cool, you can see my son there. He has a hockey practice tonight, I'm excited for that. When you wrap it up into a little personal computer like this, and that gives you your solutions, and you could just quickly do something, speak into truth, get it even on your desktop if Google can get some sort of a plan of action there for desktop search, make that even better. Yeah. Then yeah, I think this is a step in the right direction. I salute them for this. I have no idea what the pricing is gonna be. And I think they had to come up with a plan of action. Let's see where it is ahead of that rollout for Apple. Let's see what Apple does. And hey, let's not beat up companies for, for giving people what they want. Might not be initially what the market felt like, or what they should do. But what do you think? I mean, we're using perplexity. Yeah, I, We're changing the way we search. Despite it being 55% of their revenues, yeah. it's going to change. Yeah, and, and maybe this is one of those things where they'll have ad-supported search just as it is now, plus you can pay to get you know, the, the next level. Because if anyone hasn't used a perplexity or any, any kind of search-specific AI, it takes away that like if you go to Google and, and put in a very specific search, mm -hmm. a very detailed specific search, it'll show you a whole bunch of websites that may or may not have what you're looking for, but then it's on you to actually go through and, and you know, do the digging and find what and it is that you want. you're clicking and you're getting ads showing up. And exactly. And you your cash and all that stuff. Exactly. So <laughs> perplexity then takes all that away and just right. shows you what you actually want to see. And there's so, no tracking either. Like if you Google search something, then all of a sudden they know exactly like yeah. what you're looking up and then you're on meta or you're on whatever and you get an ad for that. I feel like on perplexity, you're kind of away from that. Maybe. Yeah, but trust me, they're gonna slap a, a pay front on that as well. Um, here's, uh, here's the main headline for Apple this week. Shout out to Benzinga. Realm gets launched and I, um, I wrote down what that means because it's very strange. Uh, where on earth did I write it? Now I can't even see it. Real um, thing? Real. Oh, this is a giant fail. Oh, it's okay. Take your time. It's, uh, oh my God, what on earth was it? See, when I, when I, when I take a minute, 
you know, I get railed. <laughs> you know, you, just, I want everyone to notice. I, mean, I, get, I get hit up. I get beat up. Thing Reference, is, resolution, and language model. Bang. Found it's it. Exactly what we were thinking. Exactly what you thought. Yep. I don't know. I mean, that's June, right? Is the, the event, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. This I mean, Apple is dramatically underperforming the S&P. But did they yeah. not need to do yeah. something, you know? But we've sat here and talked many times in the past on the live show as well. When Apple comes with something, it's typically the best. So, yeah. I mean, they're usually not first to the game, but when they finally get there, they're always going to be at least at the yeah. front or, or near it. So don't expect anything less than this. I was reading a little bit about this thing today, and it's really cool. It will actually recreate what you are looking at on your desktop of your computer within the actual language model. Right. So it has a better uh, sense of what exactly you want and what exactly you're looking for instead of just translating language into whatever right. it needs for it's the like visual generation. It's actual yeah. visual generation. Wow. And they're saying it's already faster than uh, GPT-4. So let's see. I thought computing power had, had like an end to it. Like at some point, we can't just keep on doubling and doubling and getting better and getting better and getting better because at some point it's like, Nonsense. what is real? There was a story there about, um, actually Adara mentioned this to me, artists including like Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, Billie Eilish all signed an open letter um, warning about AI and basically to all the music companies saying that there's been people, there was a George Carlin, I don't yeah. know, did you see this? I know you're into stand-up maybe a little bit. There's someone was creating like a whole stand-up routine. It was of a special. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. And then they're like, wait a second. The like, I can't dead. just use this. Like, <laughs> the, you know, and, and then, but I guess they was, these were based on clips they found online. And they, well, they just recreated his voice. Yeah, they just, yeah, and they put yeah. it all together yeah. and jokes. And, yeah. yeah. So and they're worried about this. There was a release of like Drake and all this kind of stuff with their songs, reproducing songs. Yeah. And it's just like, is, is he actually do? I don't know. But it's just back and forth, a lot of this stuff. I'm pretty excited for it, but pretty nervous at the same time. I don't same. know. I, let's just get involved with it. I think it's a reason to own stock. Same. Yeah. I, I think it's. Uh, I, I was trying to think of the name, but there was um, there's a YouTube channel, and the guy all the guy does is he takes like modern hip hop, like oh, very trendy hip hop songs, yeah. and then puts it in like Ooh. Frank Sinatra singing it to Frank Sinatra like right, like those music uh, and melodies. Crooner. It's hilarious. Have you seen this, by the way? I mean, I'm gonna give a big shout out to this right now. Uh, shout out to Queen B here as Beyonce with Texas Hold'em. Huge debut, yeah. absolutely crushing it. Like going from like hip hop, R&B, uh, Destiny's Child to uh, marrying someone by the name of Sean. Uh, <laughs> and then um, now creating this. It's gonna be number one album. So there you like, go. She just wake up one day and she's like, I'm bored. Pretty good, I like that. Dance with you. She has all those little throws in her voice. Have you heard that song? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Catchy or no? Okay. Nah. Okay. Not really. That's always not. Oh, there's a Jolene, which is a Dolly Parton remake on there. Yeah. Apparently, it's supposed to be Hot Fire. I haven't heard the album. I mean, it's not going to be on my list. You can come over here and <laughs> take, a, take a quick look there. But Apple's pumping it. So I just bring that up to it again. It's like, that's the kind of stuff. That's coming. You know, like new albums, boom, right into Apple Music. Yeah. They know that we're liking it. They fort, boom, 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 different things. I really like it. I'm excited about that. You mentioned, do you want to look at the chart here real quick? Uh, you yeah. have uh, NBO up there, but no, no, I meant... Apple. Yeah. I didn't actually bring it up, but. What, you want me to look at the chart of Apple? Yeah, just, just to wrap I can it up. Do that. On, I want to talk a little Apple. bit about Nova Nordisk, so yeah, we'll get sure. to that in a minute. But no, I just thought that Apple right here, we talked about the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ being up 10, 12%, give or take, whatever's been happening this week. But Apple here, year to date, you know, you're going to go up here. We opened the year in and around 186 or so. And unfortunately, year to date, you are seeing a nice move down into 169. So well read on the year. You've, it's been very, very hard pressed. And I should have some stats for this, but I do not. To go and find, you know, a year where Apple was red and the market was up. That's probably never existed. In the, in the history, it's, and it's happening it right did, now it's been a long at all. I don't think, I mean, unless it was in the early days of Apple, yeah. Apple's really just continued to be positive pretty much 
year over year, and the NASDAQ in the market continues to follow suit with that. So Apple right now bucking the trend. I think it's a decent spot to buy. You guys know I'm literally in right here, right now at some of these bottoms. I bought it at 169, went up to 180. Yeah. I thought it was breaking out, yeah. uh, falls I back in. I think you in. have to. I think you have to right now. I wanted to change it up a little bit here yep. because there was a study published um, in the JAMA network here today from Yale University or earlier on this week, Brendan. And listen to this. Hosp uh, Doctors Without Borders, everyone's estimating the cost of Ozempic to be between 80, this. 89 cents. This is estimated cost. Yeah. Between, and this is taking in consideration everything, development of it and all that kind of stuff, research. And I know you put a lot of money in. So they deserve to get paid early sure. on this. Sure. A monthly charge between 89 cents and $4.73 is what they think it costs them. Okay. The average Ozempic pen, which lasts one month, carries a current U.S. list price of, Brendan? A thousand bucks. $968. Yeah. Crazy. So I pull up this chart right here. You see the kind of work I'm doing, Brendan? Hosting every day. I know you're doing a lot. Brendan, you probably work more than all of us. I'm getting stuff ready for the podcast. Look at this. Over half, Ozempic and Wagovi right now, 3.5 billion plus 1.4 billion. Their other revenues only equal 3.7, the rest of Nova Nordisk. Mm. These two drugs alone are 40% plus 16%. Put those numbers in, mix them up, you're at 66% of their revenues. I think once the mass media gets a hold of this, the question is, how much do we hit now? Eli Lilly back to the downside or... There we go. So there you go. That's Spending all money on ads. That's scary, by the way. Have you ever got that ad before? See, they're listening. Anyway, what, the? what I'm getting at here is, is that at, at what point does this become a major problem? Yeah. Where, I don't know if it's Department of Justice or whoever, they're looking at Apple for making an iPhone too good and making people not switch. Yeah. Well, what about charging when a drug costs $5 and you're charging $1,000 for it? At some point, the insurance companies are going to go, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, Costco's now carrying this. I just think that something's going to happen here, and I just want to bring it to everyone's attention because we often talk about tech. Yeah. So I don't know. Changing people's lives for the better. I think, I put, I think puts are in order. Right. Good. At some point. All right. Well, that's what I wanted to get to because I, I just think it's, that I'm very excited about it. Yeah. It's just drug pricing is a very sensitive issue, sure. and it's just – watch out for that. I just want to throw that out there because when I saw that stat, I was like, whoa. I saw that the other day. You know, I saw I, a headline that basically said it cost them five bucks to make and they're charging a right. thousand dollars. That's exactly what it is. It's a bubble. Yep. So just wait for the first headline that, that says something to the effect of, oh, oh wait, right. There's all these X side effects that we didn't yep. tell, tell anyone about because that's probably coming as well. Um, let's, you got one more there or do you want to jump into what's coming up next week? Uh, I, have, I have some more. You want to talk about one more thing? Sure. All right, some other random stuff here. According to a recent survey of 6,000 adults in Northwestern, how much do you think, this is not what this is. Oh, okay. This is uh, early retirement. I'm, it's about retirement. What do you think you need right now? If we, if we asked 5,000 adults, read this as well. you read this as well. Yeah. Okay, so but what would have you said? How much do you need to have Planned for retirement. I mean, there was, there was days when it was people were aiming for one million. Yeah. Now it's north of yeah. two, two and a half. Yeah, so they said, according to recent surveys, it would take 1.46 million, is what these people, the survey thought, was an average price, up from 1.27 a year ago. So for some reason, we're adding $200,000 from a year ago right now. But this is the scary part for me, is that, they asked also what the average nest egg is. Yeah. And they were under $500,000. Yeah. So, oh, so these people, easy. And that's, yeah. I mean, to have $500,000 sitting there in a retirement fund is great, I right. think. But it's just like, if you need a million and a half is what you think you need, but you only have 500000 the question becomes, okay, where do we put that money? If you're just going to be in fixed income, probably not going to make all of that 5% a year, especially if you're near retirement. The market is pretty heated up right now. So I'm not sure that some of these numbers are going to get hit. And then that brings me up to this chart that we had on right here. That was there is now a sharp uptick in early retirements. 
So again, I just wonder, we've had a lot of money flow into the stock market. I just wonder how much of it comes out now with outflows of people retiring early and possibly putting some of their equity because it's too risky to sit on equity right now. Yeah. Like you have $2 million in NVIDIA and you're 55 years old and you're, I mean, you not selling? And you're debating early retirement, which a lot are, the uptick is monstrous in here. Then that money has to come out, and then where does it go? I believe it goes into fixed income, which is why you're seeing some of these fixed income rates staying high because there is quite demand for that. So, any thoughts about I, potential? I mean, I mean that I, number... there's still there's still a lot of there's a big argument towards the fact that there's all this money still sitting in fixed income and money markets right now that moved there when rates spiked and took advantage of four or yep, five good point. Yep. percent interest rates that that has to be put back to work once in the, the cuts come. Yes. And those rates start going back down to, you know, three, five or three, four, five percent back into equity markets. So I think there's a balance, but yep. which one's weighted heavier at this point remains to be seen. Yep. Yep. Good. I wanted to bring that to everyone's attention. I thought, yeah, no, it's, I thought one and a half million dollars is pretty decent. I think if you retire with that this year, you got your money into six, seven percent in like a little bit of a mixed portfolio. Yeah. And you can start drawing on that, on that eventually. Can, you live, can we not live off a hundred grand a year if you're retired? Yeah. Hundred grand isn't what it used to be. I guess you know what? X shelter. Like assuming excluding shelter or hundred percent. Yeah, that's, because that's if you didn't have to pay your rent or your mortgage, yeah, or property. If, tax, if you can't live on ten grand a month yeah. as a retiree, your cost maybe you have my family. For sure. Um, all right, let's... Uh, We're getting on in time. Yeah, this let's touch on... a fun episode. Hit the like and subscribe, by the way. Let's touch on what's coming up next What's up, BPIs over there? I see. There are a couple of notable earnings. The big ones are going to come on Friday. We're right back into it, guys. Uh, Friday, all the banks are going to report, or most of the banks are going to report. And then we're right back into earnings season over the next two, three weeks. So stay tuned, because things are about to get pretty exciting. Wednesday next week, Sean, CPI. Thursday, we get PPI. No one cares about How that. How important is, I mean, I think it's super important, but we'll just trade the reaction to the market. I mean, we yeah. had that huge move down today, down 150 points, and then straight back up to that on NFP. So CPI, obviously a big thing. They look at PCE, core PCE is a I big one more. for that. But the CPI will give us an idea and a, and a feel of where inflation is going. I mean, if that comes out a lot hotter as well, yeah. then I think we got to potentially start firing up some thoughts about Maybe no rate cut at all. I, I think so, man. That's what I'm feeling. I, I was just reading 3.8% expected. It's basically flat month over month. So they're not How, expecting any change. Yeah. Again. <laughs> but when the change comes, that's not something that they're going to revise. So that number is going to be exactly. what it is. So we're going to see that. And again, shelter, Fed, the Fed cannot control fe uh, shelter or energy. And energy is, yeah. I'm expecting a hotter print on that one. Watch out for some Wednesday, guys. Wednesday. Movements next. down. And then, Wednesday. yeah, uh, you, I saw you had uh, GPM up there. But then um, I switched. Big banks, Friday, earnings season to come. Let's I talk switched over to weed. What's up with weed? I, we, have, we have Tilray marked down here for before open, and so does, um, so does Trade Ideas, April the 9th. So we've got Tuesday before the open. Is that exciting? I think it is because we have a short float of 16%. Um, it's up, it's up in a couple weeks. It's up about a hundred percent to the top, pulled back down, only up 70% now in two weeks. I think there's an interest here. Let's see if Tilray themselves have anything to say about recent developments, not only over in Europe, as we've had Germany go ahead and approve this, but one thing is for damn sure, my weed investments remain <laughs> up in smoke. Hey, and guess what? They're expecting another loss, Tilray is, so... You know, I looked at my account, I was like, oh man, I was so happy I put money back into like CGC at these lows. And I looked at the thing, I was like, damn, man, damn. <laughs> I still down way too much. I know. Oh yeah, by the way, how's my Fisker investment going? Brendan, honestly, who do, I talk to, zero? who do I talk about? Who do I talk to about a raise <laughs> around here? Oh, mother market, I guess. Uh, all right, let's wrap this thing up. Thanks though, what do you say? Uh, buy. Yeah, I mean, how could you not? Those charts look Both fantastic. hands buy. Fantastic. Um, all right, let's wrap this thing up. Um, give me your uh, oh. one good thing for this week. It would be much better if you had yours first. Why? My one good thing is, and I don't have any pictures for it, but I'm wearing, see how I'm wearing the Raptors jersey uh, thing today? No, we're not sponsored by the Raptors. However, Masai, if you're watching, you know, we could, 
you come on our show, we'll interview the general manager of the Raptors. I mean, know. every week. Yeah, if no you problem. president and GM even at that. The Raptors have lost 15 in a damn row. They're, they're good. So my one good thing is the next round, I don't even know who they play, but I think the Raptors, let's, let's see some love for the Raptors. So I'm going to say, you know, they're starting to put a little tank on. I feel like the, a little bit, 15 in a row. The NBA is a league of draft picks. Yeah. And unfortunately, we need to finish in the bottom six to keep our draft pick because we traded it away. So I'm hoping that the one good thing is potentially the Raptors continue on this negative slide and we're able to draft <laughs> a better player. I'm trying to take positives of negatives here. <laughs> so that's my one good thing. Good it's safe, been kind safe. of fun watching the Raptors lose, to be honest with you. Because, <laughs> no, I, I, this sounds hilarious, but it's true. The NBA is this, like, Cleveland tanked to get LeBron. Yeah. You know, this is San Antonio last year tanked to get Wemby. And I'm just saying right now the Raptors are finally doing that. They've got a plan, so yay, Raptors. They weren't going to do anything. They should have done this last year. They're doing it this year. That's my one good thing. And Toronto sports, what's up with that? Because the Maple Leafs are rocking right I'm now. Gonna, uh, I'm going to piggyback on you, but I'm also going to shout out to uh, Sonny's. Um, in Brampton? No. Oh. In Kensington. Uh, Really nice restaurant. The best place. I'm going there on Saturday, so I can't wait. Oh, in wait. Kensington, Chinese. Yeah, I can't wait. Oh, that's it's, amazing. It's phenomenal. Isn't that right on Spadina? Uh, no, it's in, it's in, it's on Augusta. In Kensington, okay, yeah, yeah. Augusta, I think. Anyways, that and then um, baseball season. Hello. Home openers Monday. Yeah, Blue big Jays time. Home opener big Monday. time. The Blue Jays what, beat the Yankees today 3 nothing. Yeah, I'm going Saturday. The Blue Jays set a record from, since uh, you're going? Oh, next Saturday. Saturday. And next Saturday. So who do they play? Uh, Seattle, I want to say. Okay. I remember. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. They did set a record for the first team ever, I think, in the first <laughs> week of the season <laughs> so, to be, I think it's not, maybe, maybe back like 1911 or something like that. I think it's the first year. But a one hitter against them and a no and hitter. And a no hitter. <laughs> Boom. Me, they're good. Episode 21. Yes. Good job. All right. Uh, happy weekend all. Enjoy books, your Saturday, Sunday. Come join us on Monday. We're back with the market live on Monday. See you then. See you.